On September 23rd, 2019, I realized that you're not guaranteed this life. You're not even guaranteed to live to see tomorrow. I found that out the hard way. My day started around 9 a.m. after my shift the previous evening had ran over late. Looking back, that was really the last time that I truly felt normal and without constant worry about my friends, my family, and even myself. Around 3.30 that afternoon, I received a phone call from someone who I never expected to call, so of course I picked up. This phone call was soon to be one of the most devastating calls of my life, and I didn't even know it. Before she told me it was wrong, she said, I'm so sorry to be the one to have to tell you this. I still had no idea that the words that followed would be the same words that have replayed constantly in my mind for over the past three years. She called to inform me that my best friend of 10 years, a decade at this point, had actually been killed in a car accident right outside of my house that I had just recently moved out of. At this point, the room started to spin. I had a million questions and thoughts and none at the same time. I realized that my best friend was gone, the person I went to for everything and the person who I never thought that I would lose, especially 18 years old. We've been through everything together. We grew up together and she was always there for me without hesitation, unconditionally. Um, those thoughts and questions that were racing in my mind were suddenly interrupted when I heard the other line ask, are you okay? To which I could only answer, I don't know. I don't know was the only sentence that I could form in such a state of shock. Still to this day, I'm not for sure why, but I reached out and I called her number right after we had hung up. I expected it to ring like normal a couple times in her pickup like nothing had happened, but I had never been so devastated and heartbroken to get a voicemail. Life has been awful without her here with me, here with, with me to laugh, but it has truly taught me some lessons. The true beauty in life isn't how much money you have, how many people like you, or what you wear. The true beauty in life is knowing that it's not forever and not taking that for granted. On that day forward, I chose to live life to the fullest with no limitations because you're not guaranteed tomorrow.